Imagine a community park where the whole community can come together. All ages, all abilities, all interests. Imagine a park that is designed and built by a community together. That is what the City of Redmond, the Kiwanis Club of Redmond, and Redmond residents are striving toward with the Sam Johnson Park Project. With your help, this vision will become a reality. You can help build a lasting legacy in Redmond. As a health professional, I've seen the devastating effects that diabetes can have. It shortens your life up to 20 years. Unfortunately, one in three children born today will end up with diabetes. And as we know, one of the ways to prevent diabetes is through exercise and having an outdoor play structure that encourages children and families to exercise together will go a long way in preventing diabetes as well as other health-related diseases. Uh, it would be really nice to have a better play area for the kids here in Redmond. My kids love to come down here and it would just be an amazing opportunity to get the funding for the better play equipment and just a better area for the whole family. The uh, Central Canyon is really the crown jewel of the Redmond Park system. We'd like to uh, see this project come through. We, we realized as part of the Park Commission that we were really underserving a couple segments of our community. The uh, disadvantaged and the young tots, uh, younger than five. And as a family-oriented community, I think that's really something we want to correct in Redmond. As a parent and owner of Evergreen Academy Preschool and Child Care, I believe that having age-appropriate equipment would be fantastic. That way the little kids can go out there and play and not worry about having to get run over by the bigger kids. I feel it's important to have an ADA accessible park in Redmond because we have several children that are excluded by the lack of accessibility in our playgrounds. I also think Sam Johnson is an excellent location for this park because of its accessibility to the high school and it's used by the park and rec program for the summer in the park and the school district for the summer lunch program. When I walked around this playground, if I had a child that was in a wheelchair, it's not accessible to them. If a child is in a walker, the child can't get up to right where I'm sitting. We've said it does not work, so they are um, no longer a park. As a mother of a five-year-old to a three-year-old and one on the way, I'm so excited to see that this park might come into something with baby section and something for my older children and something that I can feel comfortable bringing my kids down and playing and know that they'll be safe. Redmond is known as not only a business-friendly community, but a family-oriented and family-friendly community. George Endicott, Mayor of Redmond, and uh, what I want to talk about is the new initiative we have in town trying to do a complete comprehensive rebuild of, of this park and the features that it's going to offer to our community. The city's putting money and resources into this and committed to it. These groups, families are doing it, groups in town are doing it. We have an entire effort underway and our opinion is it's going to be a fantastic facility when it's finally done. It will serve all age groups from newborn all the way up till those in their golden years. It will serve all of those in between. We'll have specialty areas for tots, we'll have areas for teenagers, we'll have areas for adults. One of the things I'm proudest of what the group is trying to do is serve the disabled community and offer facilities so that families and entire families including those like disabled veterans are going to be able to actively participate to serve our community. The other thing to keep in mind is a, a, a facility like this uh, serves as, as also an enhancement to bring people to town, to get people downtown, to make people want to come to Redmond and see what's going to end up being one of the premier parks in all of Central Oregon. I used to call on candy here at the park and it is used by a lot of children. The play structure is really old and lots of kids get hurt. I want to swing for the little kids so they can be safe while they're swinging. I want a playground both safe and fun for my family. The kids need some little fun to play. I want, I want a new, new park. <laughs> it's really important for us because we uh, represent adults with disabilities we th feel it's a great project as far as community inclusion. It'll be the hub of activities, not only in Redmond, but in Central Oregon and probably a great part of the state. It'll be a wonderful place for people to come and visit. It'll have facilities for the elderly, 
for children of all ages. Folks with disabilities will be able to access the park and all the things that it has to offer. So we're real excited about it. I, I stay on the grass. I don't want to get stuck. I want to see a new park. As I'm saying that plan you showed me, then it's like we have a lot more to do for kids and adults, both. It was hard to see kids with disabilities trying to play, feeling separated from their friends, seeing them you know, trying to get around in the bark chips, getting slivers. You know, it'd be nice to see them feel included. I can't wait to see the final results when it's done. What an exciting idea to have our wonderful uh, park system be improved at Sam Johnson Park with the hub of our area being right there in the center at Sam Johnson and looking at the future for our children. We're so excited to have not only four children, but expanded into families, all kinds of activities. I believe anything we can do as a community that improves our parks, uh, makes a, a better place for our kids, our teenagers. I've always been a believer we need to give our kids and our teens something to do, otherwise they'll find something to do, and it's not always good. There's so many bad things for us kids to get involved in here, and we want something good at this park in Redmond. Uh, as a 16 year old, it's really hard to uh, find things to do in Redmond. I'm really excited to see a basketball court in the park because there's not much to do around here, like, like sports wise. I'm really excited for there to be a park that I could do something at. My brother could come and have fun, and it'd be a new park, and my whole family could come. We come here every Wednesday, and there's not really much to do around here. It'd be nice to see it, you know look new, you know, more things to do around here. It's where kids go because it's secluded and nobody sees them. Uh, I believe that building this park and changing, updating will bring more people and thus self-police that park, making it a safe place where kids can play. I have two children also. I have a seven-year-old and five-year-old, and uh, we would love to see them be able to play in a safe place there also. Our focus and our mission right now is to help take the Sam Johnson Park to the next level. Sam Johnson was one of the original founders of our Kiwanis Club 75 years ago. Their family donated the land that is now the Sam Johnson Park. Play is a part of our being as human beings and obviously uh, having a safe place for our young people to uh, enjoy uh, play experiences is very, very important. You meet other people, it gives you a socialization opportunity. Uh, uh, Any time that you do, a community recreational area. It speaks community. And anytime you do a recreational area that reaches all people groups and reaches all ages, it speaks community. And this is what it's about. It's about community. So let's get behind it. Let's support it. Let's jump on board. Let's do what it takes. Let's hitch our wagon to this and let's get her done.